Not very long ago, Sony released a new lens, the 24 to 50 f 2.8 G lens. And now they're releasing kind of a companion lens to that original lens they released, the 16 to 25 millimeter f 2.8 G lens. So this is a G lens. You've got that nice fast aperture again. And similar to that other lens, you are missing just the top part of what you would normally consider the standard zoom around that focal range, 16 to 35. So you've got 16 to 25 millimeter but the trade-off is nice fast aperture and a bit more affordable. You've obviously got lenses within this focal range that exist already. So 16 to 35 f 2.8 G master lens, and of course the Mark II, and then the 16 to 35 f 4, the Zeiss lens and the power zoom version as well. So with this lens, you are getting a more affordable, more accessible standard zoom lens, that wide angle zoom with that nice fast aperture, but still with G lens optical quality. And on top of that, it's very lightweight. It's very small, it's very compact fits really well on some of the more compact cameras, things like the a7C II, the a7CR. You can even pop this on something like the a6700 if you don't mind a little bit of a crop. And I say it's a companion lens to that 24 to 50 f2.8 lens because it really does feel very similar. It's pretty much the same size and weight, just a little bit different. So it's gonna be perfect for things like use on a gimbal, if you're shooting video, or just generally in the hands. You could easily have these two lenses and then a camera in a bag with loads of other stuff. It doesn't have to be a dedicated camera bag. It doesn't have to be a whole kit. And that's gonna give you great flexibility if you're going traveling or really to shoot all kinds of things. That gives you 16 millimeters all the way up to 50 millimeters at f2.8, a constant aperture, nice and fast. You can shoot all kinds of things doing that. And to be honest with you, the lens is just as good as you probably expect from a G lens at this point. Lovely image quality. The autofocus is nice and fast, nice and quiet. It's great for photo and for video. Obviously, you probably know what a 16 to 25 millimeter is capable of. You're probably familiar with the idea, at least, of a 16 to 35. This is giving you very similar kind of performance, just without that top end all the way up to 35 mil. But I think for a lot of us, a 16 to 35 anyway is gonna be more of your wider lens. And then in this case, the 24 to 50 can take over to zoom in a little bit closer if you want to. I think it's great to have options like this for different kind of shooting, right? So if you don't want to spend out for that 16 to 35 G master lens, which is a beautiful lens, but let's face it, it is quite a bit more expensive. Something like this is giving you fantastic image quality, right? It's nice and sharp. The bokeh as well is, it's actually really lovely, especially for a wider lens like this. You know, bokeh on a wider lens isn't always going to be, it's not always going to be the one, right? It's not always going to be as pleasing. And that's fine. The trade-off is that you are shooting much wider. But actually, it looks really nice here. It's an 11-bladed aperture. You've got nice, smooth bokeh. And the images, like I say, are nice and sharp. Whether you are shooting up close or whether you are going for those wider shots, you've actually got a lot of options for how you want to shoot this. It's a very flexible kind of lens and certainly for video as well, this is always a really useful focal range to shoot at. Personally, for me, with a 16 to 25, I'm not really missing that top end of the focal range that much, but the f2.8 aperture is so useful for all kinds of different things, whether it's low light, just letting more light in, or getting a little bit more separation between subject and background. And like I say, I just think it's great to see options like this. So a lens like this, where you've got the choice to actually maybe spend a little bit less. I mean, you could get this and the 24 to 50 f2.8 lenses for a similar price to just one of the G Master lenses. So yes, those G Master lenses are unbelievable, like really, really stunning lenses. But if you're going traveling and you want some nice, compact, fast aperture zoom lenses, you want a bit more flexibility of how you want to shoot, you want to keep everything nice and small, nice and compact, a bit of video, a bit of photo. Both these lenses offer so much. And like I say, at that reduced price point as well. Now you can check out the new 16 to 25 millimeter f2.8 G lens by checking out the link down in the description. You can check out the 24 to 50 as well. I'll pop a link to that down there as well. So you can check out everything over at parkcameras.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well because there's new content all the time. I will see you in the next video. But until then, as always, thanks for watching.